Okay, next up, I decided to do tinted balms, lip treatments, or like lip glosses with little to no tint, and pencils. So I think I'll do the pencils first because I think those will go the fastest. So these I will swatch, and then the rest I, I'll swatch the tinted lip balms, obviously lip treatments and stuff I won't swatch. So this is what we got. I got these three from, or four from e.l.f., and I got these as a free gift with purchase. And these are from, it's called Retro Paradise. And they're basically three browns and a hot pink. It's kind of weird. Um, so I haven't even used these yet. They were still in the package, but I'm keeping them. So I took them out and there's no shade names on the pencils. I just dropped a cap. I have to drop something every video. Let me see if the shade name is on the package because I literally just took them out. Um, nude lip liner one, two, and three, and then vivid. So I'm assuming they go in order by the how, how dark the colors are. So this would be one. That's the one I dropped the lid of. There's two. Ugh. <laughs> kind of wishing I hadn't swatched that because maybe somebody would love that. And then three, Ugh, that would not work for me. Um, if that style comes back where you do a really, really dark lip liner and then a light, I know they're trying to bring that back, and then a lighter lip color, like a gloss in the middle. And then there's the vivid pink one. Um, but otherwise I would never, I might use this top one and then the bright pink one I could probably find some use for. Okay, this one I got from Buffy Summers, this I remember. Um, it's called Pop or Pout on Point. I just thought that was so fun. And the shade is Risque Rose. And this is one that's got like the triangle shape on it. Like some um, eyebrow pencils have. So that's that one. It's pretty. I've used that one a few times. This one, I think I got in a lip monthly. It's a peel gel liner. And... We don't see a shade name on here. It says Appeal Gel Liner Chic, so maybe Chic is the shade name. I don't know. It's a twist up though. Or no, it's not. It's the plastic kind that you still have to sharpen. It's so weird to me. But anyway, that's a nice shade. Okay. And then this one is Evio Beauty. Um, we don't know what shade it is. It's probably on here. Something it says Val at the bottom, so I'm assuming maybe that's the shade, but it's light green package with white writing on it because they're trying to blind us all. So that's that one. It's pretty. A lot of these are very, very similar. Um, this one is Diego Dalla Palma on the shade is a mystery. Maybe just 80 because there's an 80 on there. This I believe I got from Lip Monthly also. It's that one. Very um, crumbly. Not my favorite. Um, Italia Deluxe. One of these I got from Buffy and one of these I got in Lip Monthly. And I don't remember which one of these last two I just showed. So it's that one. That's really pretty. Okay. And then this one I got from House Labs. And this was in a mystery box or bundle. Um, this is the color Punch. Um, I'll start another row. Ooh, that's pretty. That'll go with some of the brighter lipsticks that I have. And then I think these are the, sh oh no, they're not the same. Good. I was really worried that these two were the same. These are both from Thrive Cosmetics. Um, the shade is Get... I don't know. G H I Z L A N. Gislan. What's that one? It's pretty. And then this one's like a plum kind of color. And the shade is Devon. These are really creamy and I love it. I love twist ups. I don't like to sharpen too much, but. I mean, a couple of those, like the um, House Labs one was really creamy, and so was this Italia, and these are pencils, um, but some of them were a little crumbly. Okay, 
So then I have some lip treatments and lip glosses. These are ones that are unopened. And I do have more throughout the house, but these are ones that were kind of like just in with my stuff. So this is a Chorus Pure Greek Olive. Um, just, you know, lip gloss. I'll get to it eventually. I still have the seal on it. I got two lip scrubs from um, Naked Cosmetics. Pretty sure they were both gifted to me. I know one was from Buffy. I'm not sure where the other one was from. Vanilla cream is the scent or flavor, <laughs> whichever. I haven't opened them yet only because I have been using this one and I love it. Uh, this one might have been from Buffy too. I'm not sure though. Milk makeup, um, Kush lip scrub. It, Cause it looks like a balm and then you just put it on and then you just rub it slightly with your finger and then you don't have to rinse it off. You could if you want to, but you can leave it on. It's not super gritty. It just, as you rub it, it kind of just disappears into your lips somehow. I don't know. Um, Seraphine Botanicals Fruit Butter Lip Mask. This one I'm excited to try because I know it's supposed to be really good. I just literally have like two or three other ones that I'm finishing up, so. Um, this one is from, oh yeah, Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. I got this one also from Buffy. And this is a Rosebud Lip um, Overnight Conditioning Lip Mask. Again, I just haven't gotten it, gotten to it because I have so many other ones to go through. This one I have used a few times and this does have a slight tint to it, but not really enough to call it a gloss. So this is uh, the Cab um, Cosmetics Lip Oil in Rum Punch. But I will show you guys. I mean, it's a, it's like little to no tint. So that's why I have it in this category. There's that. Um, this is Lano Lips Ointment uh, Strawberry one. I think Cece might have given this to me because she doesn't do strawberry. It's got some schmutz on it. But this one I have used a couple of times. You know, it just comes out like that. There it is. There's that one. And this is a Hannah Lay lip treatment in mauve pink. So this one is slightly tinted. So I'll show you that one. But it's a very, like, almost, ooh, hello. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's a very sheer tint, though. I'm going to put some on. I don't want to waste it. It's nice. I've used this one before. Let me get a wipe because I made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> I have to wipe it off my wrist, too, for my arm. Okay, so there's that. Then we've got just a couple more treatments and then some tinted balms. So this one is a Pure Lease um, Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. I don't know where I got this from. I don't remember if someone gifted this to me or if it came from, like, Ipsy or something. I'm not sure. Um... I got this one from Miss CC with birthday friend mail. It's the Hello Kitty, the macaron um, from the creme shop. It's so freaking adorable. <laughs> so cute. I haven't used it yet because it's so cute. I leave it sitting out on my, um, on top of the, the thing that I showed you guys where I have all my makeup. It sits on the top of that because I like to look at it every day. And then this is kind of yucky and this is going to be, um, decluttered. This is a MAC lip primer, prep and prime. I don't personally think these do anything. I don't think they make your lipstick last any longer. I think it's just a waste of money. Um, I was talked into buying this when I bought my lipstick for my wedding. So that's how old this is. Um, cause it'll be our sixth anniversary in October. So <laughs> decluttering that. Okay. So now we have tinted lip balms and this one there's another little mini Jane Iredale one that my um, my friend that's an esthetician gave me. And it looks like nothing, but when you wear it, it um, you see how it's turning brighter pink right there? It's like it reacts with your body's pH or whatever. They have a peach one and then a pink one, and they're really super cute. So I usually have that one in my purse. This is the Sol de Janeiro um, lip balm in Keep It Rio. So, you know, it's got like a slight tint to it. I had a hair on it. That would be my own hair, though. So, I know it's gross to you guys, but it's like, it's my hair. <laughs> Just wipe it off. This one, it sits in my purse. And honestly, you know why there's a hair on it? This damn cap comes off every time. It does not stay on. 
Every time I go to pull this out of my purse, there's no cap on it. The cap is laying around loose in there. So I'm tempted to declutter it, even though I don't remember what I paid for it. I think I got it from Sephora. This I put in with lippies, but it could be, you know, an either or, because this is a, a lipstick slash cheek stain. I didn't like it as a cheek stain, though, so, but I do like it as a lipstick. So that's that one. And I got this from, probably from Ipsy, because it's so little. It's cute. Then I have a couple, oh no, I just have the one. I thought I had more than one. These um, lip, NYX Lip Balm um, Butters, they don't make these anymore. So that tells you how old this is. Um, so I should probably declutter it. Yeah, it smells a little funky. I'm still gonna swatch it, but these used to be my favorite and I had them in a bunch of different colors. And then the last time I went to buy them, the lady at, at uh, Ulta looked at me like I was nuts. She didn't even know what they were. <laughs> She's like, you mean the butter glosses? I'm like, no, it's a butter balm. And she's like, I don't know what that is. <sighs> she thought I was crazy, which, you know, I might be, but there, there really is a thing. This is a Girlactic um, jelly gloss balm. This one is actually not tinted, so I should have showed that with the other stuff, but oh well. That one. This is uh, another Jane Iredale. This is a tinted lip balm. This one I bought, uh, Giddy is the color. And it's very, very light. I mean, it looks dark on there, but you know, it's very sheer. Another Butter Balm. That's right, I did have two. I'm not going crazy. This shade was uh, Biscotti. Again, I'm gonna declutter that because it's old. But they were just nice. They had just a real light tint, but they weren't like sticky like a gloss. That's why I liked them. But like I said, they stopped making them. This other shade, I don't even know why I'm bothering because they don't make them anymore, was brownie. Then I've got this one from, I think Kim from Kimmy's Boxes sent me this one. This Pixie by Petra Lip Glow. And really pretty. I've worn this one a few times. That's that down there. It's just a really pretty like pinky. They call it ruby, but it's it's lighter than what you would think when you hear ruby. I have this one from Burt's Bees. This one I know I got from Buffy. Um, it's a tinted lip balm in rose. And that's this one. You see that? Then I got these three from the Hello Kitty collection from um, ColourPop, right? Yeah, from ColourPop. Um, so it was from, they did like a summer release where everything was um, like fruit related. And I bought these three lippies in two palettes. This one is called Fun in the Sun. Yeah, Fun in the Sun. Um, running out of arm space. Okay, that's this one. This one is Hello Fruity. They're really, really fun. I like these a lot. It's bright. I wear this one quite a bit, actually. This one was in my purse. <laughs> I had to go through like all my purses to find everything. And then this one is Tropic Cute. This one's real light, like a light peach. That one. And then last but not least, this Lipstick Queen. I put this in with the balms because even though it looks like a bullet lipstick, this is one of those color changing ones. It, it looks green in the tube and then it goes on a sheer pink. But it's so sheer, that's why I put it in with the tinted balms. It looks like it has a shift and then it, it looks green to pink, but on my skin, it, it's just pink. It looks weird on camera. So that's it for this category. Uh, next up is glosses and liquid lipsticks. So those are going to have to be <laughs> two more videos. So this is going to be four videos total. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I'll see you in the next one.